Are you ready for the eclipse on April 8th? This is an Aries eclipse, 19 degrees Aries. So this video is for you if you are a fire sign, if you have placements in Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, especially if that's your rising sign. So Aries, this will be in your first house. Whew, this is going to be a time, an opportunity for you to make big changes in your life path, your personality, and your relationships, even your appearance. So there can be crisis come up that, that change your life path, crisis come up that change everything in your life. Because when an eclipse happens in your first house, it affects your entire chart. That means it affects your, affects your entire life. So this eclipse, again, you could end up going through some kind of big shift in relationships. You could go through a breakup or meet somebody new. It could also be a, an opportune time uh, where somebody new comes into your life, where you start a new business or a new idea comes up. So this is a big shift for you, Aries. This is like you are the star here in this eclipse season. So expect big changes and big things to happen. So this will be a catalyst. So go back to the eclipses in October and April and look at what was going on in your life during October 2023 and April 2023 because it's likely a, a next chapter for you in that area. If there was some big theme going on uh, in your life, um, then that theme is likely to come back up during the shift over the next few weeks. So even when an eclipse happens like um, on a certain day, like April 8th, it will still affect you weeks before, weeks after. So that's important to remember that not everything's just going to happen on the day of the eclipse. It's just that we're in eclipse season and that theme on April 8th is going to be really important for you. So just be mindful of being impulsive. Um, this can be, there can be a lot of change underway for you, a lot of big shifts. So just don't get too impulsive during this time. This can definitely be a time of big energy shifts for you. If you have Leo placements, especially Leo rising, this is going to be happening in your ninth house. This eclipse is going to be happening in your ninth house. And that has to do with higher learning. It has to do with exploring and finding your life purpose. This could be a time when all of a sudden you feel like, oh my God, like I need to go learn this thing, right? Um, it can be a time where you feel very called um, towards more of your life purpose or something happens where your life purpose is all of a sudden like, oh my God, that's that's what I need to be doing. That, that you can just have these ideas and these revelations come up about your life purpose. This is a great time for you to explore beliefs and your faith and your intuition. This is a time for you to really expand your horizons, but be mindful of legal issues. This is a house of legal issues, so that can also come up during this time of eclipse season. If you have Sagittarius placements, especially Sagittarius rising, you are going to have the eclipse happen in your fifth house of romance, creativity, and children. So some interesting things might come up for you in terms of like uh, your romantic life. You could have some surprises there or you could have some realizations there in terms of love. It's a good time to focus on your heart and what your heart is calling you to. And also, um, it's a good time to really... Focus on creativity, uh, focus on your own, what you want to express is so good because it's going to be hard for you to keep it in <laughs> during this eclipse season. Um, this is a time where, you know, the eclipse is going to make you feel very focused on this area of your life, creativity and romance and children and just areas of your life where creative potential and expression are, are the key. Crisis that comes up during this time in these areas are going to help you to recalibrate and move forward in that area of your life. Remember, this is about new beginnings, this eclipse. So this can be very good for you in terms of your, um, your life path in the area of self-expression, creativity, romance, or and or children. If you have children, this could be a time when um, there's some crisis come up that, um, you know, that have to do with your children. Um, it could be that you're having a crisis about having children, or it could be a crisis about like romance and your heart and just self-expression in general. 
somebody from your past could pop up right now. Um, they could just be popping up in your head. Um, so this is a time uh, where this eclipse is going to bring these things to the surface. That's what an eclipse does, and especially with this Mercury retrograde in Aries as well. So to keep up to date with what you have going on in your life, follow me at Brandy Joy TV on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube.